perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like the size of a soccer ball. <laughs> Considering being a basketball. Well, we gotta yeah. get back in time for lunch to cook this up, right? My name is Thomas Carl Courtcamp. I've, I'm living here at Dancing Rabbit Eco Village in the beautiful green rolling hills of Scotland County, Northeast Missouri. I've lived here for about five years and uh, I'm 28 years old. Dancer Rabbit's an intentional community of folks who have been living here for about 10 years and it's also an, an experimental and educational project that has been set up to demonstrate sustainable living and ecological living and all the all the bells and whistles that go with that sort of life and pattern of human settlement that endeavors to, you know, be more harmonious with with local ecology. Well, five years was a long time ago. So thinking back about what my motivation was for for showing up here in the first place, actually I visited in the first place in 2000. So that was you know that was seven years ago, this fall. I got interested in, in organic gardening at about that time. And I was also very interested in, in sort of earth living skills, you know, like in, inspired by, by Native American architecture and you know, trying to learn more about wild edibles and herbalism and, and you know, all sorts of different things. One time, there's something living in there. Yeah. One time we found a giant, delicious mushroom on this tree. Griffola frondosa. Hen of the woods. Oh, it's so good. Maitake is what they call it in Japan. Maitake? Maitake. Oh, fucking hey, dude! They oh, my God. That's them! We are looking at the elusive Griffola frondosa. Also known as Hen of the woods, or my taki. A highly esteemed edible and medicinal mushroom considered one of the choicest of the choice. We came here searching for walnuts, perhaps hops, but we found a much tastier quarry. Whoa. Really wanted to like be rooted in a place you know like I, I got that feeling uh, especially from reading a lot of, of essays and poems by Gary Snyder great author and uh, and he speaks a lot about living in a place and really taking care of a place and so and so I don't know if I if I really knew what that meant um, but but it's it struck some sort of a chord and I was like yeah I just want to I just want to settle down you know I want to like dig in I want to play in orchards and and you know be able to say like this is where this is where I'm going to be for a long time. This is the former site of the wigwam, which was a mud hut, and you can't see it now because uh, we kicked on it and sat on it and basically destroyed it not too long ago because it was its time to go. But I stayed in here and 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 had a stove in there and and kept a, a simple earthen dwelling for a few years. It was thatch roof um, and mud walls and it was a circular dwelling maybe about 10 feet in diameter. There was a fridge in the middle which is a big hole that I could you know stand in and put a lot of stuff in and a door and a window and so it was pretty comfortable. I had a tarp pitched over the whole things. I never really quite finished or figured out the thatch. I don't feel like the particular lifestyle I, I, I lead compared to other people here should be touted as, you know, as, as, as better or, or simpler or more ecological. It's just sort of a, an outgrowth of, of who I am and what my habits are and my proclivities. So, yeah, so I guess I, guess I kind of like things simple sometimes or sometimes I like them complex and, and powdered and cream filled. This is a tent going by the, the current name of Cracker Box Palace. 
that uh, I've been staying in this summer and fall and even in even into this winter um, just an old Coleman camping tent with a heavy canvas tarp over it but for um, for three seasons living or for a rugged fourth winter season it, uh, it, it does a good job of staying dry and and a place to keep my clothes and sleep and keep tools in here and food and all that too. Okay, now we are back to the cooking show. For this episode, there will be no cooking. Everything is already prepared, sort of. When I'm hungry in a pinch and haven't got the, the solar oven going, then I fall back on the wonderful standard of rolled oats. And I throw some rolled oats in, and then I came across this nifty swag bottle of ketchup, which adds some flavor, and also some moisture to the otherwise dry oats. It's very important to have flavor and moisture. And the oil helps with that too, a little organic canola affair. Gotta have those calories. Some sunflower seeds that have been well toasted. Yum. And then we have the, the mustard greens, which I will chop in a way that the French call chiffonade. Which I don't know what that means. It might mean like little ribbons or something like that. Doo -doo. Give a little bit of a stir. Things start to get to know each other. They're getting happy in there. I hope that's not a like a copyrighted phrase by now. Things are getting happy in there. That's an emerald thing, right? My grandma calls Emerald Emo. She calls Oprah Winfrey Oprah Winfro. She calls Squid Squib. She calls Octopuses Occupuses. Um, this bucket has a tasty fermentation in it. Walking onions. Walking onions, which are a perennial. Um, oh, here it is. A perennial. Uh, onion that is easy to grow and it multiplies itself and just goes crazy around here So just from right over there and tomatoes that I grew all chopped up Salted packed into this bucket about a month ago Weighted down with this plate and then they ferment with uh, with all sorts of microbes And they get really tasty. It's like a it's like a sauerkraut or a fermented pickle or all sorts of other foods you can ferment like this and it enhances the, the nutrition and you get a really good fermented flavor and and you can get a good shot now of, of in the bucket it's um I don't know how appealing it looks to other people but it's it's heavenly for me so that's a good salty um, moist nutritious flavorful introduction to to this bowl which um, this dish, which is oats mixed with <clears throat> whatever else you have, has become affectionately known around here as the huge, which is short for the usual, which just means you eat it when it's around. It's good. Keeps me going. 